Hey guys, John here. Today we're in Hive 2, and this patch is called Strings of Steel, and it sounds like Strings of Steel. So here we go. If we go an octave higher, do kind of the same thing. Now this one is really cool, but one thing I did notice is that if I actually used a different reverb, so if I added some Valhalla to this guy here and then turned this one off, it kind of has a really cool sound to it. This increases a little bit more. It's kind of overkill, but. But yeah, so that's with the vintage verb. Let's double click that and add the regular one here. So yeah, anyway, let's get uh let's get ahead. Let's get ahead. Let's get started. Jesus Christ. Right click in it preset. And let's target this one here. Okay. So first things first, we're gonna be using pink noise on the oscillator. So let's click this guy and go to pink noise and then unison up two. So we have stereo. Now for this one, we're gonna be utilizing the comb filter. Now the comb filter in different synthesizers are not gonna be all equal. Some of the best ones I've heard is gonna be in Zebra and in uh, in Hive 2, which is this one right here. These comb filters are pretty nice. Even though there's like three controls here and the cutoff and the resonance, you get some surprisingly a lot of cool different textures. So we're gonna select comb. And this mix is gonna be 50. The ratio is gonna be down at zero because this will significantly change the sound, which you can mess with later if you'd like to. And then the damping is going to be at 32. And then now we need to focus on the cutoff and the resonance because this is gonna be important. So the resonance, 100%. And then the cutoff is gonna be at 95. Now, if we bring this down. Also, I love doing that, that whole effect there. So even there, you can make some really cool sounds. But anyway, we have, what is it, 75, 95. Now this is surprisingly, not really challenging, but it's something you have to be aware of. So if you're using the comb filter and you're playing noted keys, right? If you're playing something that you'd play like as a melody riff, that's something that's notes, right? You have to make sure to tune that, right? So if we play every note here, sounds awful, right? So we have to use the key follow all the way to the top. And it kind of sounds like strings, which is cool. But if we're playing it with something else, we need to really make sure to tune this cutoff. So what you can do if you're doing something like this, maybe get another oscillator and play a certain note and then kind of play around with the cutoff listening against that note to make sure it's in tune because you do want to tune your comb filters. Because <laughs> it sucks when you make a pretty cool sound, but it's like ungodly untuned, so you can't even really use it with something else. Anyway, with that being said, let's kind of crack into it. So if we play stuff, it's like it's almost like a string, but it's there's something really off with it. So what we need to do for this guy is turn the volume all the way down, right? Just like uh, we're always told, turn it down. So we're turning it down all the way. And if we look in our matrix here, we see that this oscillator one volume is getting changed by this first mod envelope. So this is going to be important. So drag and drop this to the volume, and the depth is going to be at 100%. We can either do this here in the matrix, or we can do that with, with this guy right up here. It really depends on how you want to do it. So we have kind of the same sound still. That's because this envelope is not set up properly. So the attack here is going to be one, which is default. The sustain is going to be at zero, so we can bring that down. Release is going to be 20, which is going to be default. But the decay is really going to be the meat and potatoes of this, because here we're going to be at 20. There we go. So now we have somewhat of a string. It almost sounds like there's like old kind of like European folky kind of... King Henry, or something like that, right? I don't even know. 
Anyway, let's get, let's let's keep going here. So the amp envelope is going to be one, which is default. The decay fifty two. So bring this guy up just a little bit. Sustain is going to be at zero. So bring that down, and then a release is going to be forty one. So it's almost like some kind of kind of playing. Right. And, you, and since it's a string, you kind of do want to play it like a stringed instrument in a certain way. Like those little kind of, you know, kind of strumming stuff. A lot of DOS have like the strumming thing, and that's going to be perfect if you're using a patch like this. So with that being said, if we look back over at this guy, what we're also doing is sending the output of this filter to filter two. So remember, what we have to do is we can turn this down, but... Let's click this first one here on, but for this guy, I'm actually leaving this open a little bit because I wanted a little bit of just the output of filter one coming through and mixing with the output of filter two. So if we turn this all the way down like this, we hear the output of filter two or filter output of filter one through filter two, right? But if we add just a little bit here of the volume, we can still add a little bit of the original signal because we're gonna be changing stuff with this filter. So that's gonna be 15. It's a very subtle thing, right? But I do want you to be aware that you can do something like this in high. So if we look at filter two, what we are doing is the cutoff is going to be 124. Something like that here. And then the resonance is going to be 18. And we're doing a little bit of modulation depth here with the mod envelope at 14. So mod two, the attack is going to be one, which is default. Uh, the decay is going to be 37. So we can bring this down a little bit here and then our sustain all the way at the bottom. And then our release is going to be at 48. And the whole idea of this is once we pluck a string, we're going to get a burst of high frequencies and then it's going to slowly taper off. And we're kind of trying to emulate that thing with this filter. Right, to kind of give you that vibe, I suppose. Okay. So now we're going to filter two. Now this envelope here, the sustain is all the way down because that doesn't make any sense. Sustaining a string like that forever or for that long of a decay. So we need to bring this down. Right. So that makes a little bit more sense there. Okay. So the attack is going to be one default 61 for the decay. So we can bring this up a little bit more. Because strings do have some decay and a little tiny bit of sustain, maybe, but it really dies out fairly quickly for most occasions. So sustain zero and the release is going to be 52. And that way we can just hit a note. And it'll kind of do its thing there. Okie doke. All right. So let's move on to some interesting stuff here. So let's go to our effects. And if we look at this guy, the first thing that we're doing is distorting it. Now, this isn't necessarily to like distort and crunch the signal, but it's kind of to get a certain texture out of this here. So our amount's going to be 12, but keep in mind this note, this tone here is going to be at 43. So a little bit less because we're kind of wanting to get a little bit of that lowness back. So if we went to 43 and then the amount's 12. And then bring this mix down. What do we have here to 37? So here we're getting a little bit of warmth here. So without it here. And then with. And then next we're going to go into an EQ because here we're going to try to shape our sound. So it's going to happen right after the distortion. So for our key EQ, the uh, the base here, we're going to go to 31 on its value. So 31, something like that. And then here we're bringing it down by 1.5 deeps. And the next up is the mid. It's going to be 76 here, 76 right there. And then we're bringing this down 6.5. And then for the high, this is going to be kind of interesting. So the high is going to be all the way up to 97 here, something like that. And then the amount is negative 12. And there's a reason behind this. It sounds all kind of quiet, right? So what we're doing here is on the high, if we look at our uh, matrix here, 
the high EQ boosting that we're going to be adding is going to be controlled via the velocity. So the more you hit into your keyboard, the more that the EQ of the high band is going to open up, kind of giving you a little bit more of a brighter attack if you're hitting it a little bit harder. Because if we gently pluck on a string, it's going to be kind of like muted-ish. But if we really hit it, it's going to be a little bit more excited. So more high frequencies, thus the velocity. We can map this here to the high and the amount is going to be 83. So you can do it with the dot or you can bring it over here to 83, which something like that. Okay, so we have this here. So next we're gonna go into the compressor. So turn on the compressor and bring it under the EQ. So the compressor is going to be an amount of 42. And then the out is gonna be 6.5. Okay, which is a little bit loud, but once you start adding the reverb and the delay, it's gonna be a little bit more manageable. So let's turn on our reverb and then the mix for this reverb is gonna be 63. something like that. And then we have, where's our reverb? So then we have our pre-delay is gonna be at 14. So bring that to 14. The size 137, right? It's kind of a big string. It's always fun to move those. Uh, what I say, 137. 137, there we go, right there in the pocket. And then our decay is 42. So bring that down just a little bit right here. And then for damping, it was a 66, so bring this guy a little bit down, because we want the reverb, but we don't want it too, too much. So the tone here is negative 29, which is a little bit more than default, negative 29 for the tone. And then the width all the way at 100%, and we already did the mix. Awesome. So we have that, and then I did experiment with chorus, but I feel like it ruins the sound, but uh, it gives it a whole different vibe. So if we even just turn this on. It's kind of cool, but it's not really as like authentic. Something like that would be. So moving on from here, next we're adding the delay at the very bottom, so we can turn this on. And we have a quarter note on the left-hand side and then a quarter note on the right-hand side as well. So let's change the left-hand side to one over four. Ping pong, the low pass is gonna be 42. So we can bring this to 42, is that right? Yep, 42. And then the high pass, 31. Width is gonna be 50.5, which is default. Feedback, what do we have here? Feedback, 27, so a little bit more than the default. And then our diffuse is gonna be 50, so a little bit more here. And then for our mix is going to be 40. So that one sounds cool, but keep in mind, the lower octaves and kind of like lower mids, even here sounds good, but once you get to the higher end, it doesn't really sound as good. So this is more so of a lower kind of sound to play in. Like up there, it's like, eh, it's not really that cool, but lower on the bottom is nice. Yeah, but anyway, so that is the sting, <laughs> Strings of Steel. So if you like this patch and you'd like to get it for free, there's a link in the video description below and it can be yours. So yeah, thanks so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video.